Hello, great subs. Welcome back to this channel. We are still continuing with the fundamental counting principle. And today we're going to be talking about permutation. Permutation. So what is permutation? So what you have to know about permutation is that it is used to determine the number of ways that we can arrange R things from a set of N things without replacing them. We use what we call permutation. All right, so it's basically used to determine the number of different ways. Sometimes we may call it the number of different arrangements that can be made if we are to arrange R things are things from a set of n things so it's basically we want to arrange a certain number of objects from a set of of different um object and without actually replacing them so that is called permutation so the formula for permutation is n p r it's denoted by n p r is equals to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. Remember, n stands for the total number of objects, or we can say items, or the total number of of people. Actually, sometimes people uh, that we 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 want to select from. So this is the total set things that we are going to select from and r remember represent the total total oh you can basically call it the number of items to be arranged to be arranged so remember we are taking r from n so you have certain objects, but you want to arrange them in, in certain ways. So we use permutation to determine those number of different ways that we can select or arrange uh, those things. OK, let us now look at uh, different examples of permutation. This is the first one. Number one, it says there are 12 different singers that are hoping to occupy the first three places in essay idols uh, in how many different ways can the first three places be occupied so when you get such kind of a question you think of permutation why are we thinking of permutation because we are told there are 12 uh, uh, total singers different singers let me just sorry about this um there are 12 uh total singers but we we want to determine the number of different ways in which the first three places can be occupied so we we, we just want three of them maybe top three from those 12 singers so we are actually going to select three from a total of 12 so you must think of permutation because it helps us to arrange uh, uh um, to arrange um, or to actually calculate the number of arrangement or selection that can be made from a set of, of objects uh, uh, if we are actually going to pick some of the objects there. So, okay, we have 12 different singers, but we are hoping, um, um, uh, we want to see how many different ways can the first three places be occupied. So we actually use permutations, very simple. We just okay to determine the number of ways um, it will be 12 factorial divided by 12 minus how many spaces are to be occupied three places which means we said three three multiplied by the factorial of that so 12 factorial just use a calculator and we can get the answer of that let me um, Take a calculator and see how many combinations can we make. All right, it's 12 factorial 
divided by 12 minus 3 factorial. Remember factorials in your calculator, it gives us 1320 different ways. in which these top three girls, um, I mean singers, in which these top three singers will be selected. Okay, let's move to number two. This is another example. Uh, in how many ways can seven vacant places be filled by 10 different people? In how many ways can seven vacant places be filled by 10 different people all right so we have a total number of 10 people but we want to know how many ways can these seven vacant places be filled so it's actually also simple just say 10 factorial minus we want to uh, select seven positions there so we're gonna say it's 10 minus 7 remember r factorial 10 minus 7 Victoria. Then it will give us the number of different ways in which those 10 vacant places, I mean, seven vacant places can be filled. Oh, it's a lot. It's giving us 604,800 ways. So this is a lot. So there are many different ways in which these seven vacant places can be filled by these 10 people. All right, let's move to another example. Third example, how many different possible outcomes are there for the gold, first, silver, second, and bronze, third medals in a swimming event with six competitors so how many different outcomes will be there we have six six competitors but we want to know the outcomes whether we got um, first position second position bronze and third position um, i mean second position silver and third position bronze so we just calculate how many total items are there there are six competitors so there are six people let's say six victoria so we want to know how many possible outcome are there for these three um, three positions? So there is gold, silver, and bronze. So we'll say six minus three factorial. We divide by it, then it will give us the answer. We just use a calculator: six factorial divided by six minus three factorial. It's giving me one hundred and twenty possible outcomes. So there are 120 possible outcomes for uh, for the person to have gold, um, second position bronze, third position medal from those six competitors. It can be arranged in 120 ways. Let's move. This is our last example. Um, Still permutation. Uh, there are 20 different people entering a golf competition. Um, only the first six of them can win prizes. In how many different ways can the prizes be won? Okay, we have 20 people in total. So it's going to be 20 factorial. But we want to know uh, 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 in, in how many different ways can the prizes be won. So only six people, six of them will win this prize. It means from 20 we are going to uh, arrange those six. So it's going to be divided by 20 minus six, according to permutation, then we get the answer. So it's 20 factorial divided by 20 minus six factorial. It's giving me a lot. So it's 2790720. Ways, this is a big number. Whew. It's million, 27 million ways in which um, 27 million something, 900 something. Yeah, like that. So there are many ways in which um, these people can, six people can win these prizes.
All right. I think that's it for, for today. Uh, just to recap, I think this is a very simple uh, concept. Permutation, remember permutation is used uh, to determine the number of ways that we can select or arrange R things, R things from a set of N things without replacing them. So that's the formula. Uh, how will you know that you have to use permutation? Just read a question if they're talking about, okay, there are a certain number of people, but we want to select certain number of them from them. So you just use the formula of permutation, use your calculator, you get your answer. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and uh, I'll drop uh, down the link for, for other... Uh, uh, counting principle videos that have been already uploaded part one and part two uh, yeah thank you